In this session, we will be looking into one of the most important uh, aspects of any project that is logging. And we will be seeing that how we can use or how we can uh, use the ready made logging utility provided by logging application blocks in projects. Every project, every project, uh, software project needs some kind of logging. If suppose there is an error happening in a project, probably in the UI or probably uh, in the business logic or DAL component, you want that these uh, errors should be either logged into event viewers, into files, or probably when some serious errors happen, you want it, you want that you should get an email. Now, rather than creating these things from scratch in projects, you can use the logging application blocks provided by Microsoft in enterprise blocks. So basically, how does the logging application block works uh, works so what we'll do is that we'll first do a fundamental run of what components we need to create in logging application block and then we'll see a practical uh, then we'll see a practical uh, small code uh, where we will log a uh, log the errors into event viewers and into files so first the fundamentals so let's run the fundamentals now you can see that above i have created a small diagram let me highlight it so that you know i can explain you in a proper fashion Okay, now in the Microsoft uh, logging application block, uh, you need to define uh, three important things in order to log uh, errors. First thing, when we say that we want to log errors, we should know that uh, what is a source, which is a source where we want to log the error. Do you want to log the error into event logs or you want to send an email, you want to write a file, you want to do a MSMQ, you want to log into a database, etc. into WMI. So first you need to define the source. So that is the first part. Second part, you need to define the trace listener. I mean to say, uh, trace listeners are nothing but you know they like uh, keep on hearing from the application uh, that you know if uh, if there are any errors, you know it will go to the trace listener. Now, for every source created, you need to have a trace listener. So, for example, if you create an event log trace listener, if there are any events or error messages sent from the application, the event log trace listener will pass this to the event log source. So, this is the second part. You need to define a trace listener. The third part, you need to design a formatter. Formatter means how do you want uh, these trace listeners should write the data, the format of data into the source. For example, you want to write it in a custom format, you want to write it in a binary format, or probably in an XML format or in a, a custom format of yourself. So, this is the third part. So, first you need to define a source where do you want to log the error. You need to define a listener who will listen from the application if such kind of events happen. And third, you need a formatter which the trace listener will uh, use to uh, the formatter which will define the define that how the data will be logged in into the source so what i'll do is that i'll pull up a project here's a small project which i have uh, my custom logger now let us first add a config file so add a new item always remember that for uh, all the enterprise uh, blocks we always need a config file because enterprise application blocks uh, either it's a validation, either it's uh, uh, rather defining the data sources, or either it's defining the loggers, sources, event sources, or listeners. You they define it in the config file. So config file is must for using enterprise application blocks. So yes, I put my config file. Now what I'll do is that let me open the config file. That's my web config file. Now what we'll do is that in this application, uh, we will, in the page load event, we will write some code and we'll see that this logs the error into the event viewer first and then we will also log the error into a file, right. So first is I will right click, say new and I will say logging application block. So by doing this, just save it, by doing this, you will see that it has put in some XML tags for a section, a config section for logging configuration and logging configuration. Right. Now, as I said, first you need to define a formatter. Now, by default, it uh, by default the logging application block has a, a event log error handling capability. Let's put a machine name here because even event, having, event handling capability. Okay, let me describe this logging application block. So here are the sources. So if you remember that we said that where do you want to log the errors. So at this moment, 
by default there is a for, there is an event log source there is also a listener for event log and then there is a formatter of simple text format right you can also define a template if you want but at this moment we'll just keep it as it is now for the source what we'll do is that we need to define the machine name where the event log exists so let let me see that what my machine name is let me go there click properties and let me put the machine name so my machine name computer name hp so let me put my machine name on that hp right and save it all right so you can say that by default there's a template there's a template which uh, the enterprise logging application block has created that it can we can log the errors into event log now that's what we need to do it also in, inserted the necessary code or the necessary tags in the web config file the second step what we need to do is that we need to add uh, references to the microsoft logging application block so let's do that and also let me pull out my event viewer till then so that because it will log the errors in the event viewer so let's pull out an event viewer i'll just clear all the messages so that we will come to know that uh, this message has been logged from this application so let's go to the event viewer and also let's and let me select this so here it has popped up the enterprise logging application block that's it okay i'm sorry <clears throat> okay so that's the necessary things what it has uh, put in what are the necessary namespaces it has referred and the first thing we need to do is that microsoft dot practices dot enterprise library dot logging right. now the first thing we need to do is that create a log entry log entry object so log entry obj log entry is equal to log entry the second thing we need to define is some kind of application name to it some kind of name uh, for the log entry object now what i'll do is that here's my sample code so that i can rather than writing everything we'll just paste it there help sort it out right so this is what we need to do we need to create object of log entry set what the message is at this moment the message is the page load event i'll just say that okay my page load event has happened and then there is a logger uh, this is a sealed class and uh, this is a logger static class we say to the logger that please write this obj log entry object into the uh, logger into the either it's a event log you define or either file whatever you defined in your uh, config file over here so first step create the object of log entry set the message add a category to it just saying that this is this is a category name we have added is my application so that whenever the event log happens whenever the logging happens in the event log you will see a my application or whenever in a file you can identify by using uh, this category and the final thing is that you say say that okay i want to log this uh, log entry object into the necessary loggers defined in the web config file so we build this up page right and what i'll do is that i'll just clear all my events over here so that we can notice that event has happened and we do a control f5 